plants will survive year after year, and they're the high summer bloomers. Uh, a lot of times people give up on gardening in the, in the summer, but these are the ones that will keep on producing for you year after year. Yeah. Here's a, a favorite of mine, Mystic Spires. Uh, not, excuse me, Mystic Spires, that's black and blue, but it's a salvia. Yeah. And that's a tough, tough plant. And then, you know, you team them up with this grass right here. You talk about a beautiful color combination, that beautiful kind of purple-blue color. Tough, cut back, you know, about June you want to cut them back because they get a little uh, stringy, but this is a great plant with a minimum amount of care. Now, we've had a lot of rainfall. Are these, do they handle the, yeah, the, some, the water? Yes, yes. you got to plant the plant in the right position. Great question. Some like it dry, some like it moist, and some are more tolerant, you know, okay. of uh, changes. You know, here's a rubecchia. When you hear rubecchia, you better figure this is going to be a tough plant. This is an Indian uh, goldstrom. You know, tough plant. We'll plant it in your landscape. We'll come back every single year. A little bit of water, a little bit of fertilizer. You know, all these great plants you can get at Ace Hardware. But you can see these three plants together, that gold and that blue is a great color combination. You know, echinacea, you know, everybody says eat echinacea is better for your, good for your immune system, but they also make great flowers. Here's Prairie Splendor, you know, just really starting to get going. It has that beautiful uh, yellow cone on it and uh, the nice uh, lavender petals. They've done a lot of great things with cone flowers, the hybridizers, and uh, if you get, you know, have an immune system problem, you can always eat the roots, you know. <laughs> but, uh, you know, these, these are great plants, you know. I'm not sure I'll ever be that hungry, Larry. Okay, well, you know, you get desperate, you know. But the, here's some of the great things they've done with them. Here's a double that they've really they've been working on for years, and it's a it's a very beautiful plant, you know. Uh, this is Rebecca double cone, but uh, you know, it's another plant that is uh, comes back year and year after year, cut back, reblooms, cut back, reblooms is phlox. This is a summer phlox, you know, a lot of times you see them in the spring, but this is a one that's going to grow very well in the summer. You can see it's already been cut back one time right there. Sorry to get that in the face. But uh, again, you know, medium to wet, a good amount of fertilizer. Now, do they like uh, full sun or is this... Full sun, this is, they can take some sun and some shade. A good, very good point because, you know, when you're placing your plants, you want to make sure they get in the right spot. Full sun, uh, you know, most of them, in a little half a day of shade. They actually appreciate that in Florida because we get so warm. Here, here's another thing that they've done great, great work with, you know, the hybridizers. It's called, in <laughs> whack you, Coreopsis Redshift Big Bang. This is a wonderful plant. If, you, if you're going to be gardening, you've got to have this in your garden if you love perennial garden. It comes back every year. It's not mildew. Uh, no mildew problems with it, uh, doesn't get any fungal leaf spot. Even after all that rain, it's going to come back and, and do that, uh, great, have that great performance for you. Here's some smaller ones right here. Uh, this is a, called Creme Brulee. It has a beautiful color, but much smaller. Now, are the orange ones the same as the pink one you showed us? Yeah, the that's thing? another cone flower. Yes, yeah, yeah. they've done some unbelievable color variations. What you were smelling is a gastic or agastaches, and that's a beautiful plant right there. And you oh, plant, wow. Yeah, just that. Oh, that's very pungent. Right, exactly. People complain that their plants aren't getting uh, pollinated. Plant some of these. These are great bee attractors. They like it very, very dry. A sandy soil, not a problem. Great fragrance. and produces flowers all summer long. And that was the? Uh, Agastaches or agastic. Some people call you know, there's, there's always debate on how to pronounce it. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's Latin. Well, do you know anybody in Latin who's still alive? You know, Roman Empire? <laughs> okay, well, we, all right, we're going to check for the correct spell, uh, pronunciation. That's no. right. All right, then we got one more. Here's Salvia. Gregii has this beautiful kind of uh, lavender flower. Tough, tough plant. The new Heat Wave series are the ones that you want to you plant in Florida. Very uh, mildew resistant, very uh, disease resistant, and takes it very, very dry. Kind of reminds me of the bluebell. Right. When you, yeah, it is kind of like that. And then if you're getting ready to plant something, and you right now you want them to get rooted quickly, use some root stimulator. You can get that at Ace Hardware. Really get them growing quickly. All right. All right cool. All right. Hey, thanks a lot, Larry, for joining us.